It's been 10 years since the deadly San Bruno pipeline explosion. The devastating blast took the lives of eight people and destroyed dozens of homes. KPI X5's Lemmermeer has Lemmermeer's covered the explosion when it happened and returned to the neighborhood today. Well, 10 years after the San Bruno explosion, an ominous fire orange cloud hangs over the city once again. But the former mayor says that that should not obscure the human toll that was taken that day, plus the positive changes that have happened in this community since that tragedy. Life has moved on in San Bruno, but for neighbors like Jesus Quintos, who lived through the pipeline explosion and stayed through the rebuilding, today is for remembrance and reverence for the neighbors who were lost. That's something I miss, just waving back at each other. It was just after 6 p.m. on September 9th, 2010, when a PG&E gas main ruptured and blew up in the Crestmore neighborhood near Skyline Boulevard. The blast and fire took the lives of eight people, destroyed 38 homes, and badly damaged many more. All of a sudden, the house just shook. Carolyn and Charlie Gray lived up the street from the explosion and barely escaped before their house burned to the ground. The fire came up. Uh... Somebody said a thousand feet in the air. It could have happened in your city. It could have happened in, in someone else's city. It could be your mother, your grandmother, your child. Former San Bruno Mayor Jim Ruane says much of the aftermath attention focused on PG&E. Defective welds were blamed for the pipeline rupture, and several lawsuits resulted in over a billion dollars in fines. But Ruane says he would always try to refocus on the victims. It's more than financial viability uh, that caused this. It's it's people lost their lives. PG&E eventually paid a $70 million settlement with San Bruno that is paying for a new aquatic center, scholarships, and a memorial park where a new touchscreen display is set up telling the story of the explosion. The total change one because there was three houses here and now there's a, a park. A park to enjoy, but with bittersweet feelings for some. I miss the old neighborhood, but I welcome the new neighbors. In San Bruno, Len Ramirez, KPIX5.